The Ant-9 Iruban Florens and an APG-71 radars are all weathered multimode X-band pulse Doppler radar systems used in the F-14 Tomcat. It is a very long-range air-to-air system with the capability of guiding several AIM-54 Phoenix or AIM-120 AMRAAM missiles at the same time using its track while scan mode. The primary difference between the minus 9 Aruban Florence and APG 71 is the replacement of the former's analog electronics with all digital units. Both the minus 9 Aruban Florence and APG 71 were designed and manufactured by Hughes Aircraft. Contractor support is now being provided by Raytheon. The minus 9 Aruban Florence was originally developed for the failed naval F 111B program. The Minus 9 Aruban Florence offers a variety of air to air modes, including long range continuous wave velocity search, range while search at shorter ranges, and the first use of an airborne track while scan mode with the ability to track up to 24 airborne targets. Display 18 of them on the cockpit displays and launch against 6 of them at the same time. This function was originally designed to allow the Tomcat to shoot down formations of bombers at long range. And minus 9 Aruban Florence. The minus 9 Aruban Florence was the result of a series of Navy programs to build what was known as a fleet defense fighter, an aircraft armed with extremely long range radars and missiles that would be able to engage formations of enemy aircraft well away from aircraft carriers. The first attempt was the F 60 missile which combined Westinghouse's and APQ-81 Pulse Doppler radar with the Bendix Arm N-10 Eagle missile. The missile was a relatively simple aircraft, and when planners expressed doubts about its ability to survive after firing its missiles, the missile was cancelled and the Navy started looking for higher performance alternatives. At the same time, the U.S. Air Force had been working on a similar long-range interceptor project of their own, the XF-108 Rapier. The Rapier had much better performance than the missile ear, although its AIM-47 Falcon and an ASG-18 radar, both from Hughes, were somewhat less advanced than the Navy counterparts. The entire system was also very expensive, and the Rapier was cancelled replaced by the hopefully less expensive Lockheed YF-12 adapted from the Lockheed A-12 spy plane. This project was also cancelled as the strategic threat moved from bombers to ICBMs. The same was not true for the Navy, where the threat remained manned aircraft and early anti-ship missiles. Hughes suggested that the ASG-18 and AIM-47 could be adapted for the Navy in slightly modified form adding additional tracking capability while reducing the size of the radar antenna to a size more suitable for carrier aircraft. The result was the an minus 9 Aruban Florence radar and Phoenix missile. All that was needed was a suitable airframe, which led to the Navy's involvement in the F-111B program. Although the radar and missile system started to mature, the F-111B proved to be considerably overweight and had marginal performance, especially in engine out situations. At the same time, real-world combat over Vietnam was proving that the idea of the all-missile fighter was simply not viable, and any fighter design would have to be able to dogfight with guns, which the F-111 was simply not suited to. This should not be surprising given the F-111's genesis as a tactical bomber and interdictor. After many years in development and arguing with Congress, the Navy finally started development of a new aircraft specifically tailored to the needs. The new aircraft emerged as the F-14 
armed with the same minus 9 Aruban Florins per M54 outfit originally intended for the F-111B. On the F-14, the minus 9 Aruban Florins is capable of detecting bomber-sized targets at ranges exceeding 100 miles, and its Doppler system allows it to have look-down, shoot-down capabilities, track-while-scan capability is provided by an Intel 8088-bit microprocessor. Programming it is accomplished using an 8-bit assembly code. Hughes delivered enough minus 9 Aruban Florence systems and spares to equip approximately 600 F-14A B aircraft for the Navy, and an additional 78 aircraft for the Iranian Air Force. All of the Navy systems have been retired. The status of the Iranian systems is unknown, but it is believed that they are still in service. An APG-71 the APG-71 was a 1980s upgrade of the minus 9 Aruban Florins for use on the F-14D. It incorporates technology and common modules developed for the APG-70 radar used in the F-15E Strike Eagle, providing significant improvements in processing speed, mode flexibility, clutter rejection, and detection range. The system features a low side-lobe antenna of side low blanking guard channel, and monopulse angle tracking, all of which are intended to make the radar less vulnerable to jamming. The system itself is capable of a 460 mile range, but the antenna design limits this to only 230 miles. Use of data linked data allows two or more F-14Ds to operate the system at its maximum range. Hughes delivered enough APG 71 radars and spares to equip 55 F-14Ds before the program was scaled back as a cost-cutting measure and eventually cancelled. The F-14 was officially retired from United States Navy service on September 22, 2006, with the last flight occurring October 4, 2006. The last Navy squadron utilizing the F-14 was VF-31.